guys and welcome to Advice Friday number 8. Um, it's actually Thursday and this video is going to be uploaded on Thursday. I am going in out of town tomorrow and I won't be back until Monday and I was like okay well I need to get another video up or get my video up today. So it's actually Thursday now. I'm doing laundry. I'm cleaning. I'm multitasking. Um, I told you last Friday that I would probably have two videos this week week and I apologize for not doing that. My reasoning behind that is because my mother is in the hospital and for the first time in my life yesterday I had to call 911 and it was a very scary experience and I mean I know yesterday was just the day before today but I mean I planned on having one on Tuesday and the video didn't turn out how I liked it and then I was actually going to film on Wednesday and it's just nothing went according to plan. It was just it was a hectic week. I'm lucky to be able to be filming right now. Uh, my mom is actually still at the hospital. They kept her overnight. She's going to be okay, but prayers or kind thoughts, whatever you believe in, would be much appreciated. But on to the week, the topic of this week. Um, this week's topic is nobody is a nobody. Um, I see on Tumblr all the time, you know, like the, the like sad posts, pretty much. Um, you know, people say that they feel like a nobody. Well, I am here to tell you, even not on Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, you name it. You're not a nobody. Nobody is a nobody. Um, I say it like that because it's kind of like, you know, nobody. No one person is a nobody. Um, you're always going to be a somebody. You matter to someone. Um, if you feel like somebody doesn't care about you, I care about you. And I want you to know that through these Advice Fridays. And People are the reason that I have started these Advice Fridays. Yeah, I've learned some things myself along the way, but these Advice Fridays are to help you guys, to like whoever stumbles upon this video or past videos, hopefully I can help them in some form or fashion. And maybe they'll subscribe and like learn more. And you know, that subscriber's number is just a number to me. I mean, my goal this week was to get to 20. I have not checked, but I believe it's still at 16, which is fine. And you know, I'm still a beginner and I just want to be able to help people and I'd love to interact with you guys so if you comment below, I will talk to you. If you need somebody to talk to, go to my Tumblr. My advice number is linked below always, but I'm not on there that often unfortunately, but I'm always, not always, but I'm on my personal Tumblr more often and it's linked below always too. And then there's my Twitter. If you follow me and I'll most likely call you back. Also, if you tell me I'm here from your YouTube, I'll definitely call you back because that's incredible that you would follow me. And on Twitter, you have direct messaging. You can direct message me. On Tumblr, you can talk to me anonymous and just be like, hey, I'm here from your YouTube and I really just need somebody to talk to. Or you can be yourself. Whatever is comfortable for you, I want to be here for you. And I'm talking about nobody is a nobody because somebody cares about you and I care about you if you think nobody in this world cares about you I am one person who does and I promise you there are many others that care about you and it's so hard when you get wrapped up in the whole sense that nobody does that you feel like nobody does but you're not a nobody you have a purpose um, you are going to achieve something great and you can do it and I believe in you and I forgot to mention this, this is, but I've been to the point where I feel like, oh, I'm a nobody. And you know, what that point was, was high school. And now looking back, it doesn't matter if you even feel like a nobody. The most popular girl, the most popular boy are gonna go off to college and they're not gonna be Mr. Popular, Miss Popular anymore. They're just gonna be an average kid at the college because things change. It doesn't matter who you are in high school because it all changes when you get to college. Your popularity, it doesn't matter. Those popular people at your school, don't worry about them. Yeah, some of them can be really obnoxious and snobby, but don't worry about them. Once they get to college, they're not gonna be Miss Popular. No, but not everybody at that campus is gonna know them. I mean, you know, in high school, you know, there's the one person that, you know, like, wins everything or, like, you know, is runner-up or that never gives anybody else a shot. And, you know, there's there's somebody like that in every school. But once they get to college, that changes. And that's, it's kind of 
are we getting back at them in a way? Like, sometimes. Because some popular people, they can be nice, but there's some that are just so obnoxious and snobby. And another word for them, preps. I don't know. You know, you're not a nobody, even if you are the one kid that sits by yourself at lunch. You're still not a nobody. Somebody's thinking that, you know, they should go sit with you. I'll tell you one thing, there's several situations where I'm like, I should do something, and then I don't because I'm just, I'm not outspoken. I've never been outspoken, and I'm hoping that this YouTube will help me become a little more outspoken. Become out of my, become. Become more of, like, how do I word it? Out of my comfort zone, like, I want to become a non-turtle, I guess you could say. I don't know how to word it. I just want to be able to say what I'm thinking and, like, not in a rude way, but, like, voice my opinion. Not be worried about sharing my opinion. Actually get that opinion out there and not let somebody, you know, just think, oh, she's accepted my opinion, oh, or well, like, she knows I'm right, or, you know, because I don't. I mean, like, when in high school, um, junior year, I believe, we had a, an abortion um, debate. I'm not getting to get into too much because that is a very controversial topic. That was a really hard for, word for me. I hope I said it right. But anyway, so we had an abortion um, debate, and, you know, you had to voice of course, whether you were for it or against it. And then, like, we, you know, of course, learned about Roe versus Wade, and it was just, you know, a lot of information, and, you know, I hate abortion. I hate it with all my heart, and I just, it just makes me kind of sick, to be honest, to think that, like, somebody would do that. But the thing is, at the same time, what, there's cases where it would be okay, slightly, like, People say, like, you know, what about rape? What if it's okay to rape? I'm like, well, I, I'm not going to get into it. Basically, I didn't voice my opinion. I just sat there and let everybody on my side voice their opinion. I didn't stand up and be like, this is what I think and this is why. I just sat there. I didn't stand up and voice it. You know, you can do that. And Perks of Being a Wallflower is honestly one of my favorite movies of all time. It's still currently my number one. And in that movie, Patrick tells, in book, Patrick tells Charlie that he sees things, he understands things, and he's a wallflower. When you feel like you're nobody, you're not. You know, people do notice you, and people just maybe like me are just like, what do I do? And you can get through it, you're not a nobody, and I don't know, I believe in you. If that counts for anything, I... Carry dreams, carry, believe in you. And I'll always be here for you, whether it's in the comments or it's on my Tumblr or on my Twitter or Instagram. No, don't message me. <laughs> you can't message on Instagram. I don't know, just excuse me. I'm here for you um, in any way possible I can be. And you know, tweet me, uh, message me on Tumblr. I don't care what you do, just let me be here for you. And that's it for this week because I have to edit, I have to get all this into Editville, and it takes a long time, and just, yeah, and I gotta clean up my mess. Um, I'm in a new location this week, I hope you all enjoyed that out of my room a little bit. Um, but other than that, I'll be back next Friday, um, hopefully maybe next week I can have another video before next Friday. I don't know. I really want to because, like I said, I want to branch out and do more besides Advice Friday. I enjoy doing Advice Friday because this makes me feel good. This makes me, you know, voice my opinion. And it's just, it's something I need to work on and I think you all can help me do that. And so I really appreciate everything and I just want to interact with you guys. That's one thing that I request. Interact with me and we'll get through this crazy world together. But other than that, I'll talk to you all later and I'll hopefully see you before next Friday. If not, I'll see you next Friday. Either way, I'll talk to you all later. Bye!